So now we're going to get into Ultimate Betrayal, Sweet Revenge. Wonderful. So Yay. I'm going to take Ash and Pikachu. Um, I'm not sure how much he comes up, actually. Um, but Drew, I want you to be Greninja and Mewtwo. Yeah. Kitty is going to be Delia, Ash's mom. And then we've got like eight to 12 other characters who each have like one or two lines. I think Clement was like a nerdy guy. Uh, he looks like a Ghostbuster. <clears throat> he does look like a Ghostbuster. Oh. So backpack and jumpsuit equals Ghostbuster. Got it, Michael. <laughs> you want to just pigeonhole people. <laughs> Okay, and uh, Michael will be narrating. Yep. Okay. Let me let me know when we should start. Let's do it. Go. All right. Ultimate betrayal. Sweet revenge. Chapter one. Ash Ketchum was on his way home from Kalos. Not Kodos. He Ka had participated... Kalos. <laughs> he, had... he had participated in the Kalos League and had just barely lost to Elaine when his Greninja had fainted not even two seconds before Elaine's Charizard. However, I... For a second, I was like, I'm going to just mispronounce every goddamn word and piss everybody off. It's Charizard. <laughs> however, yum, yum. However, Art Lizard Art Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty good. However, Ash wasn't disappointed. It had been his best performance by far, and the final battle had been one of the most intense of his entire life, something Ash and his Pokemon thrived on. His performance at the Kalos League would be a stepping stone for his next journey. Palatown is really nice, Ash! Do -do 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 -do. One of his Kalos traveling companions, Clement, remarked as he gazed around at Ash's hometown. Thanks, Clement! Ash replied. He was glad that his friends had decided to come back with him. It had been difficult in his final days in Kalos, knowing that he'd have to say goodbye soon. And he'd been ecstatic when Serena informed him that they would be continuing their journey with him. Pikachu P. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Pikachu oh. said happily. He was glad to be home as well. The group arrived at Ash's house a little while later. Ash opened the door and was shocked to see his other traveling companions from his other journey sitting in his living room. Misty was there, as well as Brock. Tracy, Max, May, Dawn, uh, Cillin? <laughs> We're blast! Try it, Silen! Yeah, come on, Silen! <laughs> yeah, Salon, I think. So, Salon and Iris. And Jigo also, and Tayo, and Makoto yeah, Nayagi. Kyoto, yes. Makoto Nayagi. His yeah, mother. When I first started doing this, I was just like, okay, so fanfic is just long lists of names. Yep. <laughs> I remember, being like, oh man. Yeah. His mother, Delia, was sitting with them too. Guys, what, what are you all doing here? Ash stammered. Ash, who are all these people? Bonnie, so it's. Clement? My name's Clement. Even though there's an O, that seems weird to me. Bonnie, Clement's younger sister, asked. It's actually Clement. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Clement. It's Clemato. <laughs> Clement seems right to me, but oh well. They're all my other friends from my past journeys. Ash answered, still stunned that his friends were all gathered in his living room. <laughs> Thought he was going to list him again. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, he felt as though something was amiss. By the way, did we mention who the author of this is? No, and I'm not sure we should since they deleted it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. He, hadn't won, he hadn't won the Kalos League, so there was absolutely no reason why every single one of his friends should be waiting to greet him upon his return. Besides... Delia would normally have been sure to tell him about this, but he hadn't heard a single word about it from her. What are you guys doing here? 
We came here because we wanted to talk to you, Ash. Misty said, her voice unusually cold. Good job being that unusually cold. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm great. Talk to me about what? The raven-haired boy asked suspiciously. Oh, <laughs> What's so important that you all need to be here? Uh, Drew, take Max. He's a little kid. <clears throat> okay. We want you to give up on your journey. <laughs> that little, like, miniaturized. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just write him down. Max said <laughs> bluntly. My <laughs> name is Ironic. <laughs> Ash stared at the younger boy, certain he'd misheard him. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand, he said finally. Is it Ash? Dawn spoke up this time. You're weak, you're pathetic, you've been traveling for five years and you never win shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Drew, take Brock, he's an older okay. boy. <laughs> and that's not to mention how you wasted our time. Brock added. <laughs> I couldn't train you to become a Pokemon doctor. True has two modes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's, you're getting all of it. And I could have been become an S-class connoisseur. And I could have become a Dragon Master. Iris snapped. Instead, I got stuck traveling around with a pathetic little kid. I should have focused on my Pokemon contests. May said. So could Dawn. I guess this is Misty now. And I could have become the strongest water type gym leader in Kanto. Misty said angrily. You ruined our chances at success with your selfishness, Ash. <laughs> Ash couldn't believe what he was hearing. <gasps> Meanwhile... Pikachu's cheeks were crackling with electricity as he glared at the traitors. Pika! Mom, don't you have anything to say? He asked. Oh, Delia spoke <laughs> up, but not with the word, but not with the words Ash thought he would hear. Sweetie, I'm sorry, but I think you should give up on your journey too. She said softly. I could really use you around here, and it would make more sense for you to stay than go on another journey and lose yet another league tournament. This is getting embarrassing for all of us, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last straw for Ash. He couldn't believe that his friends, not to mention his own mother, would turn on him like this. One look at Clement, Bonnie, and Serena was all he needed to know that they remained firmly on his side. But that did little to curb the anger he felt building up inside him. So, what do you say, Ash? Do you agree to give up? <laughs> Misty. <laughs> Misty asked. I mean, even you have to admit that you're kind of pathetic. <laughs> at those words, Ash finally snapped. Who do you think you're calling pathetic? He shouted, his anger and hurt so palpable that his traitorous ex-friends actually cowered as though he were Ar Arceus? Arceus. I remember Arceus we had himself. the same discussion. I know. <laughs> Ar Arceus himself come to punish them for their sins. Only the pathetic ones here. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic oh, ones so here, put your hands up. <laughs> oh, hey, Larry, hey, that wasn't actually a call for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're pathetic. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> the only pathetic ones here are you. Misty, you're just a moody, bossy little bitch Whoa. who thinks she's actually a good water type trainer. Let me tell you, I have a water type on hand right now and we can do something. You could only ever dream of. Oh, I didn't know. Something very I, specific. Yeah. I thought he was going to end with, but you're all wet. But uh, it went this way. 
better writing. Yeah, instead it went this creepy erotic way. <laughs> My water type and I can do lots of things together. You can't. He gets so wet. At that moment, <laughs> Greninja popped out of his Pokeball and glared at the traitors. He had sensed what was happening and wanted to make them pay for hurting Ash. Ash, however, signaled to Greninja to wait until he had finished saying his piece. <laughs> you know, the signal that means that. Yeah. 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 And Brock, you're nothing but a womanizer. <laughs> I just love that Ash is like Greninja is like, hold me back, bro. Hold me back. He yeah. can. He continued. If you put half as much time into your Pokemon doctor training as you did into flirting with every single girl you see, you'd have become a doctor ages ago. Max, you're a stuck-up know-it-all who throws tantrums every time your dad's gym is defeated. May, you're a weak little girl who has the body of an eight-year-old. Rude. Rude. <laughs> Uncalled for. <laughs> Those are just facts. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to shame her for it. For an eight-year-old who it. has an appropriate body. <laughs> Don, you're a whiny, bitchy princess who only cares about her stupid hair. Salon, you're an idiotic narcissist who wastes everyone's time with stupid evaluations that no one can understand. Take some speech <laughs> lessons, you moronic piece of shit. <laughs> Iris, you're an obnoxious bitch who thinks she's better than everyone when really you're a sniveling coward who's scared of ice and fairy types. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and you called Charizard a dragon type. Anyone with half a brain would know that Charizard is not a dragon type. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so just like AR doesn't stand for assault rifle. Dumb dumb. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is a bad time to bring it up, honey, but we figured if you said no, we got you free training lessons. <laughs> at, uh... <laughs> the traders were stunned silent, and everyone looked a little hurt. Ash, oh, however... Oh, they thought he would take it better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ash, however, felt absolutely no remorse. He turned on his mother next. <laughs> and you... <laughs> he fumed, glaring at Delia with a look that could have frozen hell a thousand times over. How dare you side with them instead of your own son? From now on, you are not my mother anymore. Ash, you really can't change that. <laughs> Delia said quietly. Oh, yes I can, and I just did. I'm unborn now. Ash. <laughs> Ash snapped. Arceus Delia, I always wondered why Dad never returned from his journey, but now I think I see the truth. He probably he wasn't getting left. cigarettes at all. <laughs> yeah. He probably left so he wouldn't have to deal with you anymore. Um. <laughs> so is saying Arceus Delia like saying like God Delia? Is that what that yep. is? That oh, my oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! Right. Oh, it's I a just... legendary oh Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Got it. That was that was way overstepping his bounds, and normally Ash would have felt guilty. However, this time he could only feel satisfaction as he watched his ex mother's face <laughs> fall at his harsh words. <laughs> oh. You guys have got to be the worst people to have ever existed. Serena said, her voice full of disgust as she glared at the traitors. I feel sorry for your families having to deal with brats like you. Yeah, Ash is the greatest friend ever. How could you turn your backs on him? Bonnie yelled angrily. I must say, Ash told me about some of you. He always made you sound like such amazing friends. Clement, Clem, Clement interjected. I guess it just goes to show that everyone has two sides to them. But I can't believe that you would ever do something like this to him. Who's he talking to? The, the traitors. The traitors at large. I thought, isn't Clement one of the traitors? Uh, no, Clement, not. Clement was... Wasn't because Clement talked to Ash like at the very beginning, right? He okay, was traveling yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost track don't, of don't who. mixing up with <laughs> don't Salon, remember the law. It was, it was, it was, it was Clement, Bonnie, Serena, Makoto, Nagi. <laughs> 
We'll be leaving now, Ash said coldly. But rest assured, I will have my revenge. And when that day comes, I'll make sure. It'll be sweet. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, couldn't resist, sorry. And when that day comes, I'll make sure that you regret the fact that you were ever born. Misty snorted. Oh, please. We're not scared of a weakling like you. She shouted, though the look in her eyes said otherwise. Gyarados, come on out! Misty's Gyarados appeared, (laughs) glaring at Ash. One by one, the traders all released their most powerful Pokémon in one by one. Each Pokémon went to stand against Ash. Greninja took a defensive position next to Ash and Pikachu did the same, both ready to protect their trainer at all costs. There were a few flashes of light as <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Stop. As Noivern, 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 <laughs> Halucha, and Talonflame joined Pikachu and Greninja. They were then joined by Chespin, Bunnelby, Luxray, Deden, yeah. yep. Deden, Deden yep. Sylveon, Brakeson, and Pancham. Ash folded his arms and smirked at his ex friends. Good job. Yeah, good job naming Pokemon. (laughs) (laughs) It appears that you're outnumbered, he said mockingly. I mean, there's like 20 people here when they all just like, okay, well, we've also got these dozen Pokemon each. Right, right. You would think, yeah. Attack if you want, but I warn you that this will only end badly for you. There will be blood. (laughs) <laughs> well aware that they, the, the whole place would just be filled with passed out Pokemon be very yeah. sad I have a certain set of skills <laughs> well aware that Ash was right the trader scowled and recalled their Pokemon Ash nodded but didn't do the same knowing that the minute he did they were just going to send their Pokemon out again and attack him now we really must be going he said and remember what I said. I said I will be back for my revenge. It's in without the title. Waiting, <laughs> without waiting for a response, Ash turned on his heel and walked out of his house, Serena, Clement, and Bonnie close behind him. As his greatest friends ranted on their way to Professor Oak's lab, Ash glanced over at his Pokemon, who were looking at him with concerned expressions in their eyes. Hey, I'm fine, he said, (laughs) forcing a smile. I've still got you guys, don't I? Pika, Pika, Pikachu agreed, nuzzling his trainer's face. Greninja! Greninja (laughs) nodded. Lucha Lu! How Lucha said, striking a pose. Noivern added, <laughs> glaring back at the house as though itching to smash it to pieces. Talonflame. Talonflame <laughs> said. Ash <laughs> smiled at his Pokemana, real smile this time, and nodded. They arrived at the professor's lab not ten minutes later. Professor Oak looked up in surprise when he heard Ash come in. Ash, it's good to see you again, he said before he caught sight of Ash's expression. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, Ash, Serena, and Clement explained what had transpired between Ash and his ex-friends. When they were finished, to say Professor Oak was furious would have been a severe understatement. However, his fury was not directed towards the traitors. You had no right to speak to them in that manner, Ash. He spat. They only have your best interest at heart. Can you interject some Pokemon Snap uh, quotes? Just like, you know, how he would always like... Wonderful. Yep, yep. Just throw those in every now and then. Thank you very much. Mm. My best interest? Ash repeated incredulously. How is telling me to give up on my dream in my best interest... I don't recall ever telling any of them to give up on their dreams. 
Yeah, why are you on their side? Serena exclaimed. <laughs> You're a horrible, evil man! Bonnie <laughs> shouted. I don't usually condone such language, but you, sir, are an asshole! <laughs> Clemens added. <laughs> oh my god. Enough! Professor Oak shouted. Ash, I'm giving you a choice. Either you go home, apologize to your friends, and give up on your hopeless dream of becoming a Pokemon master, or I'll be sure to ruin your chances another way. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me think about it for a moment. Ash paused for a nanosecond, then mm. snapped his fingers. Uh, done. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get my Pokemon. I'm going to get my Pokemon. <laughs> bow, bow. You've made the wrong <laughs> choice, Ash. Professor Oak said warningly as Ash and his loyal <laughs> friends walked past him. I warn you, you won't <laughs> like what I do to you. <laughs> seems like that statement was more warningly, you know? It does seem like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ash turned around to face the man he had once admired greatly. See, but that's the thing, he said. I really have no choice in the matter. According to you, my other option was to go home and apologize to my friends. Hmm. However... That house is no longer my home, and they are certainly not my friends. So I think I'll risk whatever you might have in store for me. And this is not my beautiful house, and this is not my beautiful <laughs> yeah. wife. The drinking game for this is every time that however is used at the beginning of a sentence. It makes me cringe oh. every time. On that note, Ash walked away and called out to his Pokemon. When they appeared, every single one, from every region he'd ever been, Tui was angry, but not surprised, <laughs> to find that a lot of them didn't want to see him. The only loyal ones were Charizard, Infernape, Bayleaf, Oshawott, all 30 of his Tauros. <laughs> Who I'm going to read now. <laughs> Each one. Uh, Sceptile? Yeah. yeah. Sceptile? Yeah, and yeah. Pig Knight. Why did he have 30 Tauros? Do we know? He just collects them, you know? He killed the rancher. I don't remember. He served the land. <laughs> right? Hey, guys. Ash said to his faithful Pokemon. We're going to be going away from here for good. That all right with you? His loyal Pokemon all nodded in agreement. Ash recalled everyone except Charizard and Noivern. I don't know. <laughs> Don't remember picking you guys up. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, w yeah. I mean, we just kind of hang out in in the Pokeballs in like subspace or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't really. Yeah, it's, fine. <laughs> it's all the same to yeah. us. <laughs> we'll be flying on you guys, okay? You said. <laughs> Wait, no, my back! Get off! <laughs> Charizard let out a low roar of agreement, and Noivern nodded. Before they could before they could leave, however, there was a blinding flash of light. Ash shielded his eyes as it filled the room before fading, allowing him to see what had caused it to appear in the first place. When he saw Water, rather, who had suddenly materialized in the lab, he held out a he let out a gasp. Mewtwo. He breathed. Greetings, young Ash. Mewtwo said. <laughs> I've come to take you away from Kanto. <laughs> I like that you're like, but I'm going to play it as Ian. You know, that's the, only, that's the only way to do it. So that means you must know what happened. Serena said, looking a little in awe. Indeed, I have, Miss Serena. The genetic Pokemon replied. <laughs> I trust that you are on his side. Well, of course. Bonnie said forcefully. Ash is our friend. Friends stick by each other no matter what. Clement added. I'd rather die than betray Ash. Serena said with such conviction that even Mewtwo looked taken aback. And I mean every word of that. 
All seven or so of those words. <laughs> <laughs> then your hearts are in the right place, Mewtwo said. Now I must be going. I will take you to Professor Sigamore's lab. I've seen what will happen in the future, and he is the only one you could trust. Why is he oh, Irish? Why is Mewtwo Irish? Why? <laughs> oh, because Mewtwo sounds like you two. Oh, God. That's wow. it. Wow. That <laughs> sounds like That's what? That's how you my two. brain works. Is you two Irish? Oh, the band. Bono. Got it. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was I? I've seen what will happen in the future, and he's the only one you can trust. Only Professor Sycamore and Di Diantha, Diantha yeah, yeah, will yeah. not believe the lies Professor Oak will spread about you, among a few others that I will let you discover on your own. We're here to sing a few songs about potatoes. Oh, no, no, yes, the troubles. <laughs> someday, brother, someday. All right. Oh, All right. Let's go. Ash said firmly. Very well. Close your eyes. This could be a bit intimidating. Mewtwo replied. It's so wrong. Ash closed. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ash closed his eyes and felt the ground spinning away beneath his feet. Barely a split second later, however, he found himself standing in Professor Sycamore's research lab. The Kalos professor was there along with Diantha, the Kalos champion, and Elaine. Ash was a little surprised to see Elaine there as well, but smiled at his rival. Ash, what are you doing here? And who's that Pokemon? <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's a oh, handsome he's devil. Fine. Professor Sycamore asked. He could get it. Meow. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like a Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am Mewtwo, an old friend of Ash's. Mewtwo answered. I brought Ash here to take him away from those he once called friends. Drew, do you know what Mewtwo looks like? <laughs> Oh no, I bet this voice is perfect though. <laughs> Again, when he first said your I heard him say you too at the beginning of like, oh okay, so I'll just do a yeah. thing. <laughs> Irish girl. Right, right. Those he once called friends. Diantha repeated. Ash, what happened? <laughs> Quickly, Ash recounted his tale of what had happened between his ex-friends and himself. <laughs> when he finished, Professor Sycamore, Diana, and then I was like, and Elaine, "You're a bitch," and <laughs> <laughs> and Elaine were all outraged. Don't worry, Ash. We're all on your side here. Professor Sycamore reassured the young trainer. Thanks, Professor. I appreciate it. Ash said, smiling. But I really think I should find a new region to stay in with my friends. I mean, if everyone's going to believe the lies Oak spreads about me like Mewtwo says they will, and I doubt he's wrong, I need somewhere to stay where I won't have to be on the run constantly. Professor Sycamore looked thoughtful. Well, I suppose you... Uh, excuse me, let me ch clear, clear my throat. <clears> throat> um, that's better. Well, I suppose you could always travel to Mount Silver. This is my real voice, by the way. <laughs> he replied. <laughs> There's a small, little-known town there known as Silverhood. Perhaps you could expand it over time. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea, Professor. Clement said. What do you think, Ash? I'm in. Ash said at once. Me too. Serena agreed. Wherever my family goes, I go. Bonnie said firmly. Ash looked at his friends. But, um, what about your parents? <laughs> <laughs> parents and Pokemon? No, he no. asked. Wouldn't they be worried about you? At that, Serena's eyes suddenly darkened, and Clement, darkened. and Clement and Bonnie looked down. You have awakened the demon. <laughs> Ash sensed that something had happened and immediately felt concerned. What's wrong? He asked worriedly. Serena took a deep breath. Ash? She began. 
Do you know why we decided to come to Kanto with you? I can't uh, go figure it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. That's a reply. <laughs> <laughs> Never once thought to ask. <laughs> Did something happen with your parents? Yes. Clement confirmed. Our dad said that he didn't want us associating with you anymore because you were <laughs> reckless and got everyone, get everyone hurt. We murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother said that I should take up Rhyhorn racing again because I lost against Arya. Serena told him. Ash was horrified. His <laughs> friends had been betrayed by their families as well, and he hadn't even bothered to consider that something must have been wrong when they had decided to continue their journey with him rather than continuing their own careers. <laughs> what sort of friend was he? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I should have been a little more thoughtful. He apologized. You? You did nothing wrong, Ash. Clement assured him. You had no way of knowing. Yeah, you couldn't have known that our families betrayed us too. Bonnie said. Whose specific backstory isn't as important as... Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I might be in their family, I don't know. Even so, I'm sorry I didn't at least ask why you wanted to come. I just took it for granted, Ash said humbly. But we're all in this together, right? For sure. Serena agreed, smiling. Definitely, said Bonnie. Absolutely, Clement answered. Ash smiled. Right, then let's go, he said. Turning back to Professor Sycamore, Diantha, and Elaine, he added... I'll see you again someday. See you all again. Have a safe uh, trip, Ash. Diantha said. We'll be waiting. We'll be awaiting your return. Sycamore added. I'll see how many other loyal friends you have. Elaine told him. I'm sure Baron will be on your side, too. Ash nodded to show his thanks. Without another word, he and his friends turned around and walked out of the lab, ready to go to Mount Silver to start their new lives. Man, I knew this story would be contrived, but this is really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> you think? I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I have a special place in my heart, I guess. So The fact <clears> that <throat> every single one of his friends all teamed up and just, just told him to quit like, that, like yeah. an intervention, except that they... I mean, it's just so... <laughs> There's no human, real human drama in that. It's just... What do you mean there's no real human <laughs> drama? He called that one chick a bitch? <laughs> it's human drama. Yeah. I mean... Uh, yeah, it's all an excuse to turn them all unanimously into villains for... Yeah. For yeah. No right, but, Cl but, but Clement and uh, Elaine and, uh, you know, some people are with him. <laughs> I, I, I know I get that, but like if the conflict <laughs> would have been something that would have been an actual conflict, that might have been a better actual emotional arc than just some people you, randomly decided what, that the emotional arc. I mean, he's he's been humbled by the fact that I he's not even. <laughs> 